what is going on TikTok? Hopefully you guys can hear me okay because the rain is pouring down under my car. So I have one of my clients, for anybody that doesn't know, I not only do in-person training, but I also do online coaching. I had one of my clients recently reach out to me and he asked me about the leg workouts in the program that I made for him. And he asked me, like, he pretty much said like, yeah, I haven't done them yet because I don't know how to do the exercise. And I said back to him like, eventually you want to follow the program and the videos in there, but eventually you're going to need to learn those movements because for the longest time when I started working out, I didn't know how to do certain movements like single leg lunges or um, Bulgarian split squats or squats or deadlifts. And they were so hard to get the technique down that I just very rarely did them because whenever I did them, they were very challenging and, and I didn't like to do them, honestly. That will catch up to you. And now I'm at a point where I've been really trying to emphasize my legs to bring them back up to the rest of my overall body. So my advice to him was, start the movements like even if you do them body weight or with five pound weights you need to get those movements down because not only are your legs gonna not grow and respond as much as your upper body because you're not training them enough but number two there is a stimulus that is provided on the entire body right so when you are doing lower body exercises it's gonna help all of the upper body muscles grow more there's a lot of research on this but essentially, in sum, the lower body training is more of a fight or flight response in your body than upper body is. So more growth stimulus is thrown at the body when you're doing more strength training, lower body training, heavy things from the, from the waist down. So if anybody out there is lacking on legs, bro, like you can do quad extensions as much as you want. You can do lying hamstring curls, those are great for getting maybe diced up cut legs or definition. And that's a good starting point, but eventually you're gonna have to go into squats and deadlifts. And maybe not everybody likes barbell back squats, so there's different variations, I put them on my page. But you need to figure out exercises that work for you to target not only the front, but also the back of your legs. It's gonna help with core strength, and overall it's gonna make your upper body that much bigger. And I promise you guys, since I started taking my legs serious, my upper body just like exploded in terms of how muscle definition and all that. So yeah, you guys need to be doing legs. And not just to have, not just because you don't wanna have chicken legs, but because it's gonna help everything else even out and it's gonna increase your overall metabolic rate. So your body's gonna burn more calories and you'll stay leaner, assuming you're eating correctly. I hope that helps somebody. Uh, drop a comment if you guys have any questions, I'll do another video.